continuing with our Google search tips, I want to talk about a keyword called site. Site would be the website that you want to search, and you only want to search that particular website. If I go to Google and I tell it to search for everything on the Liberty Benton site, I use keyword site, followed by a colon, and then the domain name that I want Google to, to search. I have to be very specific because if I type it wrong, it's not going to find anything. So I have liberty-benton.org. That's the exact web address for our school. And it shows me everything Google has indexed that's on our site. Now, this isn't as useful for our site because we have a search feature built right in. But let's say you go to a school where you don't have a search feature built into your website and you want to search that site to find something you can't find by just clicking around. You could type site colon and then the URL of that site and it would show all the pages. So let's say you're trying to find the student handbook on a specific school site. You just add to the site keyword followed by the domain name the particular items you're looking for, in this case, student handbook. And it comes back pretty quick and it finds the first link is to the high school student handbook. So now we have a way to specify a site and find anything on that site using Google. Let's talk about some research. I want to know what our country's official weather agency has to say about climate change. Well, you might have to do some research to find out that NOAA is the official agency. Once you know that, you find their domain name. I could say site colon noaa.gov, and then I'm going to use a trick I used earlier in the week, the quotes around climate change. It's only going to find the phrase climate change on this site. So I find 37,000 pages that have climate change somewhere on them. That'd be really useful if they could put all this information into a nice little PowerPoint presentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another trick I used this week. I'm going to add to what I've already searched for file type PPT. So this searches NOAA for the phrase climate change that's only on a PowerPoint presentation. Turns out they have about 500 PowerPoint presentations with the phrase climate change in them. So now I have a way I can specify not just uh, content, I can, I can tell Google where I want the content to come from. So I could do the same thing except search Ohio State. Show me everything at Ohio State that's about climate change in the form of a PowerPoint presentation and I find 66 results. But that's specifically at Ohio State. What if I want to search all of higher education? What well, turns out they all end with .edu. And the more generic I am with my search, the broader it goes when it does the searching. So if I say site edu, this is going to search all academic uh, agencies in higher ed, all the universities. So if I search all of the universities for the same thing, PowerPoint presentations with the phrase climate change, it finds more than 6,000 of them. And if you look through this list, you can see there's Buffalo, Hawaii, uh, University of Wisconsin, Green Bay. At the bottom, there's Southern Methodist. These are only .edu uh, websites. So they're only educational higher ed websites. So now I have a way to do specific searches within agencies that I'm interested in. And if I'm interested in something that's academic or something that's government, even something in K-12, I could say uh, k12.oh.us and only search Ohio schools, things like that.